Back in XSI, let's apply the Cyflex and get things underway. Start by selecting your cloth object and turning it into a Cyflex cloth object. Again, make sure everything is frozen. You can see I do have a center pivot here. And uh, create the cloth. So I'll create the cloth object. And if you look, we have a Cyflex cloth uh, operator, scripted operator, that's going to hold all of our Cyflex properties. So at the moment, the Cyflex cloth property is giving us uh, the first frame. We always need to synchronize the first frame of Cyflex with the first frame we play at. And we have controls for precision and sampling. So basically, these numbers are global controls on the overall accuracy uh, of the Cyflex simulation. We also have a box here where we can specify a cache file. As soon as you enter anything into this cache input, you are caching to file, or if the file already exists, you're reading from file. These are the properties that we're looking at sent, uh, setting, the density and the spring attributes. We can use some of the values directly found in our in our Cyflex uh, web page uh, to set these values here. So initially, my density is something along the lines of 0 0.204. So I'll say 0 0.02048. I'm just looking at my sheet here. Uh, we have to control our spring stiffness. So our spring stiffness is going to have to stay around the low 0 0.0 values. So for stretch stiffness, I guess we'll go with 0 0.04784. And as far as the other attributes, we can set them around this range. So I'll just copy that, paste, and paste there. And as far as the damping on all of our spring controls, we want to set them down to the low decimal ranges. It's already almost there, actually. Uh, zero, zero, two, two, nine, six, four, four, five. OK, we'll start with that. It's a pretty long string to deal with, but those are our initial values. and We're going to stick with them and everything else is going to be tuned from here. If you want the cloth to actually shrink to the character, you can use the rescale value uh, to do kind of like a shrink wrap if you want to do uh, good old latex effects on Mulcor. Have fun. Uh, so now we're actually going to move on and apply some of the other attributes to the cloth and the properties that will allow us to get this thing going.